Hey guys, welcome to episode 41 of Car Mechanic Simulator. I have a whole bunch of cars to be working on. I have this Hellcat, I have this Bandit, and I have this Bolthorn. Now, we're going to be working on one of them so far, and this is the one we've been working on slightly every once in a while. Um, this is the motor, and hold on while I take it apart. Okay, well, everything took taken apart, and now let's put everything back together. Just in case if you guys haven't seen my channel, um, you know, I haven't recorded in a while due to a surgery that I had recently about, I know it wasn't really recently, but uh, about 15, 16 days ago, I had ankle surgery, so it's been hard for me to get around, but um, I had the stitches taken out last Friday, and a cast put back on it, and I will not be able to walk by myself without the crutches, until after Christmas. So, after Christmas, I will be able to go back into my regular, um, recording schedule of, you know, four videos a day, um, or two, depending on how I've been feeling. But, um, you know, this surgery has worn me out to the point that, um, it's tiring because of the shock that your body's in, even though it wasn't a huge surgery, but I was still in a lot of pain. Um, the pain has stopped for about four days now, but... I do get some little pain here and there, nothing that I can't deal with, but um, it is very annoying, because I would like to record more, but it's hard to record when you have a cast on your ankle that goes all the way, you know, almost up to your kneecap. Um, I can show a picture after the video, so if you guys stay tuned, you guys will see the cast. Um, I've had two types of casts on my ankle so far. I had one that was made out of a cloth um, that was still kind of half cast, like a normal cast, but half cloth in the front. That's so when they took the stitches out. Instead of cutting the cast, all they had to do was um, cut the front of the cast open. But everything's okay. Um, it seems like everything's healing right. I said seems. Not 100% sure. I will be seeing the doctors in four weeks. And see what's going on. They're going to do x-rays. They're going to do MRIs. They're going to do a lot of stuff to see what's going on. To make sure I'm 100% healed. I'm going to be going through physical therapy. I'm going to be going through a lot of stuff that I really don't want to be doing. But hey, at least I'll be able to walk right and I'll be able to, you know, walk without limping. Because this injury has been a part of my life for the past seven years. Until I finally was able to get surgery. So, you know, having the injury for so long has caused the nerves to die in my ankle. So if you guys don't know what happened is when I tore my ligaments and didn't see a doctor right away, 
you know, because I was young. You can't see doctors by yourself until you're 18. So when I, you know, was able to get doctors and stuff that actually cared about my ankle and they finally figured out what was going on, um, they started doing x-rays, MRIs, CATs, well, not CAT scans, but they were going to. Um, they may actually have done a CAT scan, I'm not too sure. But, um, you know, if they did do a CAT scan, no, they didn't, um, yeah, maybe they did do a CAT scan. I, you know, have had so many injuries in the past couple of years that it's hard to remember things when it comes to what is going on. So, um, I'm not going to be able to, you know, as I said, get into my normal schedule until after Christmas. But hey, as long as I can heal up right, that's all that matters right now. I want to make sure that I'm able to walk and you know, do stuff that I used to not be able to do, like walk, uh, like uh, going up hills. Going up hills was an issue for me, including walking on sidewalks. That was a really big issue. But now, ever since, you know, things have gotten better, and I've had the surgery, even though I have crutches, um, I've gotten a lot stronger, and I can actually, you know, um, do things kind of on my own, but I can't make my own food by myself, because how are you going to make your own food when you're using crutches to get around? And you have to have two hands on the crutches. What am I going to do, balance the food on my head? Well, that is a good idea, but my head's not flat. So that's not a good idea, so um, I'm just dealing with what I got to do. Right now my dad's taking care of me. Uh, if I need anything, you know, all I got to do is ask him and he'll get it for me. And it may seem like, oh, you know, you're spoiled. Uh, my doctors don't even want me getting up. They don't even want me to record. Reason why is because my ankle is not elevated. That is why they don't want me to record. It Right now, it's literally on the floor, just like you would be sitting. But, um, you know, I can only do 20, 30 minute episodes for right now, so I can heal up right instead of heal up the wrong way and have to go back into the hospital and get the surgery all done and over with again. And I really don't want that, so... I just want to make sure I'm healed up right. And I want to make sure I'm healed up so you guys can get more videos out. Yeah, I could have avoided the surgery for another couple of years, but that means it would have been worse. And I don't want that, so I wanted to be able to make sure you guys had a, you know, someone to look forward to, to, you know, have a YouTube channel and all that. Yeah, I'm not the best YouTuber in the world, but, you know, medical stuff comes first with me. And this is just a hobby for right now, and... Um, I'll figure things out when I get things straightened out, but I also have other surgeries I have to do, like, um, I have an issue with my wrist, and, um, I have to go get surgery on that, too. Now, I haven't seen a doctor on it, I have to go see a doctor on it. And I probably have to get surgery on a couple other things, but I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on it, but might. And, you know, I want to make sure I'm all nice and, you know, fresh. And, um, surgeries are just stressful in general. 
things. A lot of things can go wrong and will go wrong. But, um, you know, don't be afraid. If you have to go get surgery, get surgery. And, um, well, you know, the doctors now these days are so high tech that it's worth actually getting the surgery if you actually need it. So instead of me blabbering on for the next 10 minutes, um, I'm going to shut up and um, stop talking about me and let's start talking about the car we're working on. The car we are working on is this beast right here. I think in other episodes I put like um, the brake pump in. I mean, the, yeah, the brake pump and the cooler and the uh, car battery. So we don't have to do that. Let's raise this up one more. Then this is going to be one of the cars we're working on. And this is brand new. I got off from the auction. That's why I have no money. And all it needs is some TLC and torn all apart and reworked. Now if we can, I will try to work on the other car. I'm not too sure. We'll see when time comes. Um, I've just been trying to relax and trying to heal up, so... That's a really big thing that my doctor wanted me to do, because this ankle surgery was a big deal, and he really wanted it done ASAP, you know, as quick as possible, ASAP, you know what I mean? So, um, this was a really big deal for him, because he wanted to make sure I could um, live without pain. Yeah, the surgery was painful in the beginning, but... All in the end is, I'm okay now, the surgery went well, um, I did have a mishap when I was going up the stairs a week ago and fell on my ankle, but I'm okay, um, someone looked at it and it didn't, she said it looked fine, but, um, I'll be seeing a doctor in four weeks on my ankle. I still have to have the cast on for another four weeks. And then after that four weeks, I go and see the doctor, and they're going to cut the cast off. And um, They're going to take the cast off. They're going to go and put me in an air cast. Even though it's an air cast where I can walk on it, he doesn't want me to walk on it. He wants me to make sure that I use the crutches still. So I'm not going to be able to walk by myself. Meaning without the assistance of a crutches. Crutch. A uh, crutches. I mean crutches. Sorry. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. Quarter or 2. Actually it's 3 o'clock right now. 3 a.m. Ooh. Spooky hour. Ruff. No, I'm joking. Um, so, it's just, I'm trying to heal up the right way, and I'm trying to listen to my doctors. So, if there is a video coming out every once in a while, that's okay for right now. I need to heal up the right way, and if I don't heal up right, that means I have to go through the surgery again, and that's something I don't want to do. I'm just saying, I don't want to be going back into the hospital and doing this all over again. Especially if I don't have to. If I can avoid <laughs> doing this again, trust me, I would. Um, the surgery was a very painful thing. You know, I'd wake up in a lot of pain all the time for the past three months. No, um, not three months. Like month and a half, you know, I'd wake up in extremely a lot of pain, but that was due to the surgery and the stitches and all that. I had about 10 stitches, maybe even 15 or 14. I don't remember because 
when they were taking the stitches out, I was in so much pain that I just was trying to ignore everything. So I didn't even, even though the doctor was counting the stitches as she was pulling them, well, the nurse was pulling them out, I was ignoring her because I didn't like the pain because they were ingrown under my skin so they yeah anyways um you know i'm okay and that's what matters so let's work on this car because i'm done talking about it because it's probably something that you guys don't care about well whoop de doo you had surgery i know um some people don't care and some people do care. Some of my subscribers care that I had surgery and they say, hey, get better. I appreciate to everyone that has, you know, commented on my videos and said, hey, get better. I really appreciate that because I don't get enough of that. But, um, I am trying my best on these videos to do for you guys. As, you know... As much as possible, I'm trying to record, and when I'm not recording, I'm thinking of video ideas like, um, you know, a couple of days after surgery, I was like, oh, you know, I, I won't be able to record, but, you know, I'll go to the auction in this game and buy a couple of cars. And that's exactly what I did. I went and bought a couple of cars. Last time I think you guys saw me, I had 300,000 or maybe more. I'm not too sure. But I went and bought, a, I think, two to three cars at the auction. And one of them was 250,000. Or 150,000. I'm not too sure. But we will get to those cars later on I know I keep on buying cars and keep on saying oh yeah I won't buy cars until you know I'm completely done with it yeah well um, that ain't working out because I wanted to see how many cars I could fit in all the garages but um yeah you know buying and selling these cars is a lot to do, especially when you have to get done your, with the surgery. Um, the surgery just caused you to get tired. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, causes you to get tired a lot and um, exhausted. So you're kind of like, I don't know, drowsy and all that. Let's see. We'll put those wheels on, I guess. And, um, we'll put the motor in. Wait for that to drop. Load it in. Install the motor. Alrighty. I know I don't have a... The, um... Oh. I know I don't have some of the parts. But let's see what we can do. Oops. Wrong button. Let's do the, I think it's the F. V8 overhead F. No, V8 overhead valve. Where is that? It's probably right in front of my face. It was right in front of my face. Let's go with starter. Um, gearbox. 
box drive shaft. And if we are, if we have enough time, like looks like we do, okay, the clips aren't in the um, ignition. Ready to start it with no oil? Let's put the oil in this time. Right guys? Right. Let's drive it. Let's check it out. Um, abandoned airport, barn, off-road track, test track. Let's try it out. Never done this before. <laughs> See if we can find a drag strip. Okay, we're going about 60 in kilometers. Well, 60 miles an hour in kilometers.
just wanted to show you guys the car before I uh, sold it, so let's go sell it. Well, somehow I was able to drive it and steer it without the steering wheel. Yeah. Don't know how that was possible, but I guess it is at 220 kilometers an hour. A K hundred and forty miles an hour in real life, I think. Kilometers in Canada. Say if you're doing a hundred and twenty kilometers. Hundred and twenty kilometers is only ninety miles an hour. So two hundred and forty is hundred and eighty. So we're doing about 180 in a 942 horsepower car. That is equivalent to how much to sell. Sell car. 116,404. Nice. Well, guys, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I apologize for the lack of videos. But I will try to get back into it, but the doctors uh, really don't want me to record right now. Uh, like I've explained in the beginning of the video, thank you so much for watching episode 41. If you guys have made it this far in the video, please hit the like button. That really helped me out. And subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.